Hi, this is Pete from Tricana and uh, what I want to do today is to quickly show you how to fit these 30 liter Hippo Hip soft panniers to your bike. Um, the others told me that I can only join on the ride that they're on at the moment once I've done that. So stick with me, I'll be quick. If you follow our instructions in this video, this is what the bag should look like once correctly fitted. When you purchase a set of Hippo Hip saddle bags, the following straps are included. Four pouch compression straps to securely fasten the Molly compatible pouches on the sides of the bags. Two crossover support straps that goes over the seat and clicks into the front buckles uh, on the front of the bags. Two horizontal compression straps that secures the bag to the rack. Eight D-ring attachment straps that further secures each bag to the respective pannier rack. And then we've also included two additional longer support straps in case your specific bike or pannier rack requires that. The first thing you need to do when unboxing your hippo hips is to insert the rigid plastic backing plates on the back uh, insides of the bag by opening the, the black zip and firmly pressing each backing all the way to the front until you're able to close the zip securely again. The next thing you need to do is to make sure you thread the horizontal compression strap through the side loops on the side of the bag. Um, those will be the top loops on each side. Make sure you thread the wide part of the strap with the buckle uh, to the front of the bag as the narrow back bit uh, secures around the pannier frame with a dry glide. Make sure you thread these horizontal compression straps through the bottom loop on the side of each bag. Similarly, thread the pouch compression strap through the bottom loop on each side and then secure your Molly attachment pouch with that compression strap. The first step in attaching the bags to the bike is to place any bag on either side of the bike and then connect those two bags with the main hook and loop straps either over the seat or if your bike seat allow it you can also do it under the seat. Secure the narrow end of the horizontal compression strap with the tri glide provided around the frame of your pannier rack. Make sure you thread the end of the strap back through the tri glide to ensure secure fitment to the pannier rack. The end of the strap that was not used can be neatly secured back through the side loops or your choice just cut it off. The same fitment procedure is required for all four horizontal compression straps. Now use the 8 D-ring attachment straps to secure the bag to either the pannier frame or to the bike's frame itself. Also make sure to thread the end of the strap back through the tri glide for secure fitment. Do this with all 8 of the D-ring attachment straps to secure your bag to the bike and this will prevent the bags from flapping like an angry African elephant's ears when riding through those gnarly trails. Depending on your specific bike model or pannier racks that you've used, you may want to use the two additional longer attachment straps to further secure your bags to the bike and the panniers. Now grab the two crossover straps and thread them through the loops on the top of each saddle bag. Again, depending on your specific bike, you may even be able to do this uh, by lifting up your seat and threading it underneath uh, the bike seat. Now you're ready to load the bag with your 30 liter gopher inner bag. Once the air is out, roll the top of the hippo hips outside bag three times to ensure the bag closes correctly. It makes no difference whether you close the bag by rolling it away from you or towards you. Once closed, connect the male parts of the crossover straps with the female parts of the buckles on the outside of the hippo hips. No further hanky-panky allowed. 
then connect the male and the female buckles of the horizontal compression straps. And voila! YouTube certification done. Well done, my brew. Now start that bike and get the hell out of here.